So it is November 16th, and this is our current situation. We had a huge snowstorm, ice storm last night. So, Bubby wants to play outside. <laughs> we have our boots on, our gloves, our hat, our snowsuit, and we're ready to go, huh? Yes. Big thumbs up. And go Pick it up. Ah, that's goofy. All right, don't mind the mess over here, guys. <laughs> Look at the pine tree. My husband's tractor, it almost landed. There's a bunch of branches. But they're nice and tucked in and warm in there. <laughs> There's like hardly any snow. Aww. So all their food bowls are frozen. So let's hope that the one in here is not. Come on, guys. Oops. I'm gonna clean this out later. I'm gonna actually go up and clean my whole shed. Um, look how cozy that looks in here. I don't know how that one corner came up over there, so that kind of sucks, but. Dump this out, I gave him a nice big pile of hay. There's a lot of snow, huh? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna open the shed. See how warm it is in there. It's all buried in snow with all the icicles. <laughs> starting to think that this one here is pregnant and not wormy. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the before cleaning. It is a disaster. I had a crazy busy week. Had a lot of things happen where I had to pick up and leave really quick to go help my sister with her kids um, because she had a crazy week. So this place needs bad cleaning. So I'm showing you the before and then I will show you the after. <laughs> All right, we're gonna feed everybody pellets first so that they're happily munching while I am cleaning. And I don't know if you guys can see right there, but um, I added a little bit of horse oats to my pellets. It's like really mixed down in there in the bottom more, but um, I heard from a lot of other bunny breeders that that just kind of helps them keep their weight on um, in the winter time when it's cold. So I thought that I would add that to give them a little more oomph to their food. I thought I would give you guys an update on Esmeralda's babies. They are three weeks old today. Um, and they are little puff balls. <laughs> They're so freaking cute. All seven are still alive and doing well. So adorable. This tree looks. This thing is so old and huge. That looks so cool. This is finished product. Still looks messy just because I can't hose um, everything down because it's frozen. But uh, shook out kitty bed, fresh food and water. Everybody's cleaned, even though, like I said, it still looks gross because you can't hose anything off. Shook out all their blankies so they're nice and clean. Everybody's clean. Clean, clean. 
I cleaned the baby's nest box, put all new bedding and hay in it, and they literally all crawled in and went to sleep instantly. It was adorable. <laughs> She's cleaning and cleaning herself too. Are you drinking your water, Claire? Clean, clean. <laughs> Showing for those of you that may think I don't clean anything. Clean, clean. Mr. Busybody down there. <laughs> I love how I clean them and then they clean themselves. But yeah, so that's what the floor looks like. I did sweep everything, but it just is damp from all the snow and everything that we've been tracking in every day. So that's why it kind of still looks crappy. But yeah, that's the best I can do without hosing everything down because in the summer, I hose everything down after I'm done and it gets all the pee off the floor and all I can do now is just sweep it. So, But I just wanted to show you guys how ridiculously sweet this buck is. His name is Fleetwood. He just absolutely adores attention. He is like a dog. Oh my goodness. Like just a doll baby. I mean, I come in here every night whenever I feed and he knows that whenever I'm done, I give him pets and he will sit here like a dog, like literally like on his haunches and wait for me to give him attention. It is the cutest thing ever. So I'm really hoping that he passes this sweetness on to his babies because it'll just make them that much easier to sell. I mean, obviously he's a super nice buck and that's what I'm aiming for um, is quality babies, but um, you know, obviously good personality helps. And all of my does, all of my mini lop does are the sweetest. Like I have literally absolutely fallen in love with the breed. They are just a doll baby. Like all of them. I could just literally just hug them all and kiss them like little babies. <laughs> and this little cutie, she's doing so good here. You're all wet on your belly from being in the snow. She is the sweetest little cat too. Her daughter, um, she's still around, but she doesn't hang out quite as much. Once I open the shed door, she's kind of gone for the day. And she always comes back to be fed at night, um, but she just doesn't really hang out as much. Whereas her, she's like a little old lady, and she stays in the warm shed. <laughs> And it's really cute. <laughs> I can't make up my mind whether I want to keep this baby or if I want to keep the tricolored one. Because this baby, like, I mean, if it's a doe, I guess it just depends on which one's a doe. So I can keep it with mama. What kiddos? Get my dirty pants from cleaning cages. That's gross. Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, it just kind of depends on which one's a doe, but I just love its coloring and like half its face is like a gray black and then the other half is orange and it's adorable. Look at her little bum while she's eating. <laughs> so cute, look. And then that half's orange. It's so adorable. Alrighty guys, so sorry I didn't really show you much more. Whenever I'm in cleaning mode, my hands are just uh, and I don't really want to be touching my camera. So that's a lot of why I don't really record like while I'm cleaning. I need to figure out a way to do like a tripod or something so you guys can see because I know a couple of you have requested shed cleaning videos, um, which I can make. But like I said, I just need to try to figure out a stand or a tripod or something to put my camera on. That's all. Um, but anyway, so that was all for today. I just kind of wanted to give you a little update on bunnies and show you what we're doing and um, the before and after of dirty versus clean. So um, anyway, I probably won't be uploading a video before Thanksgiving for those of you in the U.S. that watched my video, but um, I will see you guys next week sometime. So thanks for watching. Bye!